안녕하세요, everyone. This is Jia. Today, I want to show you how to make one of my favorite bibimbap. It's non-spicy bibimbap made with fresh vegetables. The only thing that you need to cook today is a sunny side up egg. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients that you will need to prepare this bibimbap. I want to start by making a sauce as it's always good to prepare it ahead and set aside for a while. Chop the green onion. Slightly crush the toasted sesame seeds. Do not fully pound or crush them. You want the seeds to be crunchy and release a nutty flavor. In a bowl, combine the chopped green onion, lightly crushed toasted sesame seeds, dark soy sauce, light soy sauce, water, and sesame oil. Then mix all the ingredients well and set aside. Thinly slice the carrot and then cut into thin matchsticks or julienne. The thinner the better. You may use a vegetable cutter to make an even size. I grow some fresh green leaves on my balcony during the summer. Tightly roll a few leaves, then thinly slice and shred them. These are the micro veggies. You can use any fresh green leaves with different flavors and textures to make your bibimbap tasty. Drain the canned tuna to add umami. Another ingredient that will add a delicious flavor to your bibimbap is dried seaweed called kim in Korean. It's roasted and seasoned with salt. Thinly cut the seaweed with scissors. A sunny side of egg is typically topped on the bibimbap because the creamy egg yolk helps to mix the ingredient, but you can cook the eggs to your preference. There isn't a must ingredient for bibimbap. You can just choose the topping, the ingredient, depending on your mood. Today, I feel like I lack vegetable. So, I choose a few lettuce, the green, and the vegetables that I have in the refrigerator, and the egg. So easy. Add a pinch of salt to the egg. There's a rule to make bibimbap. You don't want to show the rice. So fully cover it with the prepared ingredients. And don't forget to place the egg in the middle. Serve the bibimbap with pre-made sauce on the side. Add a spoonful of the sauce and thoroughly mix everything before eating. Bibimbap in Korea is a local food and most people associate gochujang sauce with bibimbap. But there are regions that eat bibimbap with soy sauce. You can create your own bibimbap just by choosing your favorite ingredients. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you on my next video.